before we go to the doctor? Why don't we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Why don't we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? When I mean ask, I don't mean ask for one minute. I don't mean ask for two minutes. Ask until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you a cure. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has brought you here to understand the reality of magic and how serious it is. If you didn't want to know about it, you wouldn't be sitting here. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us beneficial knowledge from the Quran and the Sunnah to explain to the Muslims and to the non-Muslims the reality of sihr. And what I'm going to be going through is real life experiences of how it destroys lives and the difference between magic and psychological illnesses. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, it is kufr to do magic. It is not something small. It ruins lives. It's destroyed many lives before and only with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it didn't destroy the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As the scholars they mentioned, some of the scholars they said if he wasn't a prophet, it would have killed him. If he would have killed the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it would have killed many of us here. And one of the biggest common magic that's done in our time, in this land and in Muslim lands, is a sihr tafriq bayna mar'i wa zawji. Between husband and wife. How many divorces do we see? Sudden divorces. No reason. Six months they've been planning to get married. Suddenly, something changed. What's going on? Suddenly she doesn't like him. Suddenly he doesn't want to walk out of the house. Suddenly he becomes paralyzed. This is the reality of magic. And this is something that many Muslims are unaware of. As Muslims, we go, we go to the doctor. Before we go to the doctor, why don't we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Why don't we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? When I mean ask, I don't mean ask for one minute. I don't mean ask for two minutes. Ask until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you a cure. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a cure. Wallahi, thumma wallahi. How many people have come to my office with no deen, no religion, no prayer, no nothing. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enabled with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when the Shaykh mentioned they got cured, they only got cured because they came back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing come from me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cures.